feel the road was wet with rain After a summer shower When I saw you standing Standing in the garden Hi, Mark Cram for SpicingUpYourLife.com. Well, it's July 24th, and it's time to take a look at our garden. We've made some progress this week against the critters, and uh, we'll see what just what we did as we get to the garden. So let's get. Well, let's take a look. What we discovered this week, um, which is actually uh, quite an amazing little invention, is this deer fence. You can't even see it, I don't think, but it's this mesh, fine mesh cloth. And uh, it keeps the deer out. So that I've run that around the garden along with um, my improved wiring system. We're, we were using 14 gauge uh, electrical wire, single core. And uh, it seems to work quite well. We've put the deer fencing over the front to um, discourage the deer from grazing from the front of the garden. And uh, I'm not sure why we didn't think of that earlier. But anyway, you can see our basil is wonderful. We keep uh, reaping that and I've uh, actually dried some more of that. You can see the purple hulled peas now. You can see the purple hulls as they're uh, coming out on the plants. I'm hoping that we're going to get some more blooms but so far I haven't seen any. So we've been picking the peppers and uh, we'll be making some hot sauce here soon with the new peppers. Uh, we're trying to again just accumulate what we can. I know that this kung pao is going to just be I mean there's so many peppers on there now it's going to be amazing. The Kung Pao uh, is also fairly fruitful, and I think we're going to get some out of that. Cayenne, I don't know, I think it's last year for cayenne for me. Uh, the Anah the uh, Serranos uh, did well until the deer got into them, and um, unfortunately um, took the leaves off. I think they're coming back and they're starting to flower again, so hopefully we'll get some more. Um, I actually planted some more squash, uh, some uh, zucchini and yellow squash, hoping that we'll get another crop here. And then, uh, like I say, we've got a few tomatoes that we've salvaged, and uh, again, we're sad, but uh, we'll make it through this season and on to next. Uh, we're seeing we're, you know, back in the herb garden, it's getting very full and um, beautiful, actually. Uh, the dill is wonderful. Feverfew in full bloom down here, which is really nice. Uh, the tarragon's starting to fade a little bit, and, uh, and everything else, it's summer. So let's take a look at the other side of the garden. Uh, we love our wild hibiscus. It's a very wonderful plant and a very beautiful plant. Um, and it uh, looks very nice in the garden. I've had to prop it up a few times, unfortunately, uh, due to the rains and the getting very limp. Uh, sunflowers, again, doing very, very well. And I'm not sure that we made any progress in here this week. Oh yes, we have one little piece of progress here, and that is our deer netting, which we've uh, put over our ivy. So I think we can recover our ivy, and in fact keep it um, recovered forever by this simple little method here. So our dahlias are fading, uh, but the rest of the garden is really quite nice. Thank you so much for being with us for this week's garden tour. We look forward to seeing you again next week for SpicingUpYourLife.com. This is Mark Cram.